Wife had an affair with a co-worker. A lot of emotional slash physical back and forth since, finally said I'm done with her. Then I started working out and now I'm feeling better. Wife had affair with co-worker. D-Day 6 months ago. A lot of emotional slash physical back and forth since, finally said I'm done with her about a month and a half ago. No contact for 54 days. Divorced, living separately. Two kids. A couple of months before I found out about my ex-wife's affair, I had started working out and dieting properly. It was something that I had been trying to do for a long time, going on fad diets, push-up challenges and whatnot. I eventually found a routine that stuck. The workout program basically consisted of four different exercises. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. This was repeated a total of 32 times. I did this two to three times a week. I started losing weight fast, and I was getting more toned. My ex-wife was in awe of my tenacity and dedication. Her positive response egged me on. Three months in, I discover the affair. I remember one time, shortly after D-Day, doing my workout routine, full steam, with my ex-wife sitting in the couch, bawling her eyes out. My marriage had exploded, my wife had an affair, but that wasn't going to stop me. It is a grueling workout routine and I never completed the full 32 rounds. Until a week ago. I had the kids for Christmas and was feeling pretty down after I dropped them off at their mom's. I slept for a full day afterwards. My apartment was a mess, and I was feeling really sorry for myself. My ex-wife sent me a few videos of her and the kids hanging out with her relatives. One of the videos was of my son, playing iPad, with his aunt. Every time I see his aunt, she's gained at least another 20 pounds. She's a real mouth breather, I never cared much for my ex-wife's side of the family. They are all lazy, self-important and have a slew of different mental disorders, diagnosed. I shot out of bed. Seeing that lazy slob, motivated me to get myself out of bed. I had a headache, I was hurting mentally, and the last thing I wanted to do, was work out. But I did it anyway. For the first time, since I started my workout routine back in April, I completed the full 32 rounds. I broke down crying and laughing for a full two minutes on my living room floor. I finally did it. I had kept telling myself, that I couldn't complete the full workout. But I did. Something shifted in me. It was all in my head. I've since made it a habit, that whenever I feel crappy or sorry for myself, I go for a run or I work out. Do I always feel better afterwards? 100% yes. Do I want to do it? 100% no. I could have just stayed in bed, but I didn't. Working out extremely hard when you're in emotional turmoil is probably one of, if not the best thing for you. Not only will you feel better physically but the intense activity drains you which usually means you'll sleep better as well. Good on you for finding this outlet for your frustrations. Mind sharing what the program is. Also great job on the progress and sticking to your goals, despite the obstacles. Tabata squats, or air squats, for 20 seconds. 10 seconds rest. Burpees for 20 seconds. 10 seconds rest. Sit-ups, or atomic sit-ups, for 20 seconds. 10 seconds rest. Push-ups for 20 seconds. 1 minute rest. Repeat this for a total of 4 rounds. I used an app called Timer. Or just search for Tabata. Challenge accepted. Once kiddos are in bed, the lazy as of myself gonna give it a try. Good for you man. Let me know how it goes. Good for you. The stories of how people learn to motivate and love themselves after someone worthless tries to destroy their lives are what make this subreddit so great. Way to shed the weight of your cheating ex and take your power back, friend. Awesome job. Working out when you're feeling depressed or you have a headache is nearly impossible sometimes. To push yourself when it's the last thing you want to do is really extraordinary and it's what makes you stronger in the end, not just the muscles. You just discovered that the one thing that keeps you in shape it's not motivation, it's discipline. No matter how you feel, no matter what you prefer to do, no matter the weather you are showing up and getting things done. Period. When people ask me where do I get the motivation I tell them at this point it's not motivation. It's discipline. 
I do it without thinking sometimes. You put your sneakers on no matter how you feel, unless you're really sick or very tired, in that case resting is the best option always, or you roll out your mat and you get it done. You will do a 180 emotionally after you're done. You will never regret a workout. You will never be like duck, I feel worse now. Working out is a gift people. When you feel emotionally down and low exercise. Also the satisfaction of not being like all the other slobs you know who let themselves go over the years and them feel sorry for themselves? Nope. You have courage and determination. You have a coping mechanism now. Found out my girlfriend is cheating on me with a guy who uses her Instagram account. Then this guy gave me his number and I called him. The first was five year relationship started back in school. The girl cheated on me with her classmate in college. I was devastated and depressed for more than a year. Fast forward to three years later I went on friendly date with a girl from my college. She was not well mentally depressed and physically, weighed 37 kilograms. I tell her about my past, we hit it off really well. We decided to be together and take the slow approach. One year passes happily. Meanwhile, she was really friendly with her schoolmates from five years ago, heart emojis and all, I had a bad feeling about this. I kept saying that if you aren't interested in continuing just let me, up to a point where we fought and I had to apologize. At this time, she weighed 55 kilograms and cleared her degree which was she failing in earlier. I like to take some credit for that cause I was the one who listened to her whining and complaining and still motivating her. After one year in relationship I had to move to a different country for my postgraduate we talked, cried and decided to stay together. I met her parents, she introduced me as a friend. We talked on phone, it was going well. Then weird things started happening. She told me her Instagram got taken. I secured her account with two-factor authentication. Then it happened again few days later. And one day I was asking for a picture of us, she told her phone got formatted accidentally. This was three months ago, at this point I had really bad feeling about the relationship but I kept holding on cause I helped through tough time and nobody would such a thing. On my birthday in December she didn't talk to me told me that her granny is sick. One day later out of nowhere I receive a picture of a guy and her in his arms from her on Instagram. I almost had a stroke. This guy was using her Insta. I called her right away she still denied. I asked for her Insta password. Then this guy gave me his number and I call him. We tell each other that she is with me. We tried getting her conference call, she denied. I talked to her she was still denying that nothing happened. I knew at that moment that she is a really bad person. I decide to get back to her. I tell her to let me talk to her mom just friendly talk so that she knows I still here and maybe I can forgive you. I tell her mother everything even sent her the pics. She cried in front of mother really bad and was asking me to stay. I tell her mother to tell her to never call me again. But the thing is now I am putting all the pieces together, she was doing this with several guys and I think her mother knew this. I am feeling so anxious now, not sure how to get over this cause I don't have many friends here in Sydney, can't tell my parents. Edit, never told this to anyone but after 10 days of talking to her mother. I texted her this I apologize for being so stupid and inconsiderate. I am not with you doesn't mean that I don't wish you well. Just be the best person you can be. Maybe we'll meet or have a talk again as colleagues, don't have another word to define us. Name. You are not a bad person. Be well, heart, I did this so that she doesn't feel bad about herself. This was on Christmas Eve after then I blocked her. Right now all you can do is focus on yourself meditating, yoga or knitting just anything to keep your spirits up. Don't do meds or hooch it'll only make you feel worse about everything. I'm rooting for you and I hope things get better for you soon. Smile and I have never done meds, I am not even a drinker apart from having a couple of beers. I have joined gym and I am learning piano in my free time. That is really great that you have joined a gym. I also am really impressed with you for taking up the piano. Get yourself on a regular schedule for doing both, and anytime you start feeling down, immediately go to whichever one is quickest to jump onto. Working out at the gym will release endorphins that will pick you up and help you feel better. I am a guitar player, and I can tell you that, the better you play, the more soothing your music can be. Playing a song well, 
can give you a great sense of satisfaction and pride in yourself. Remember this, you are still very young, and as you become more physically fit, and self-assured, your new look and confidence will just naturally attract women to you. You will find someone much better, and with more loyalty. Just make sure that you don't just latch on to the first one that gives you some attention. Do yourself a big favor, and if you want to go on a second date with a woman, run a background check on her first. You will be surprised at how many unsavory people there are in this world, and they can put up a very good act. Good luck to you. Many many thanks to you. We'll definitely keep these things in mind. You are very welcome. Worldwide comments of the day. OP doesn't give himself enough credit. His friends are saying they're repaying him and his dad as being a great dad. Had he been a crappy person his friends wouldn't be this loyal. I hope he sees this and if he does. You sir are a kind, loyal, loving person. Here's something if that might help that self-esteem. Have each of the friends write out what they love about him. That way he can go back and remember why he deserves the love he's being surrounded by. In some states, knowingly giving your partner an STD is a felony. It warms the heart to know people like Mike, Bob and Frank exist, people who look out for friends in their time of need. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and relatable Reddit videos.